In this video, we'll balance the equation for H3PO4 plus Al. This is phosphoric acid plus aluminum. Let's count the atoms up. We'll use a little bit of a trick to make this easier. We have three hydrogens, and here's the trick. We have a phosphate here and here. It stays together. We're going to call that just one thing. So we have just one phosphate ion. Aluminum, we have one of those. Product side, two hydrogens, just the one phosphate, and one aluminum. So everything looks pretty good except the hydrogens. Let's get this to be an even number. Then we'll be able to fix that over here. So I could put a 2 in front of my H3PO4. 3 times 2, that gives me 6. That's an even number. Then I have the phosphate here, 2 times the 1 phosphate. That'll give me 2 of those. Okay, let's leave the hydrogen and the aluminum to last. They're by themselves. They're really easy to fix. Let's fix the phosphate. So we have two phosphates here, one here. We put a two in front of the aluminum phosphate. We have the one phosphate times two, and then the one aluminum times two. So the phosphates are balanced. Aluminums are easy to fix. It's all by itself. Two, one times two, that's balanced. And then the hydrogen's no problem either. It's by itself three, so two times three, that gives us six, and we're done. This equation is balanced. Something that's helpful when you're balancing equations, if you have something like Al by itself or just H2 all by itself, those leave those till last. That makes the balancing easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H3PO4 plus Al. Thanks for watching.